Hey guys. Well, I'm gonna kinda go back to uh, a little bit, uh, a little bit more normal uh, working on trucks video. This one's gonna be short. It's about the L9000 and uh, let me show you what I came into possession of. And that's what we're working on today. Hang tight. I should interject because I rewatched this video and I didn't uh, I didn't point out where these came from. So what these are is, um, if you guys recall, um, the seller I originally bought my L9000 from, my 87, and a couple months ago I went over and helped him get uh, um, another a tandem axle, a twin screw L9000 running for him. Um, just had been sitting and it was originally part of the same company the same package as mine and uh, I went over and helped him get it running and considered buying it but he ended up selling it to somebody else but as a thank you for for helping him out that day and getting it going he uh, um, he and his aunt who were kind of co-owners were uh, kind enough to give me um, these parts which was really really cool of them actually um, really appreciated that I mean I had a good time going to to get the truck running to be perfectly honest but uh, but it was pretty awesome of them to uh, to offer these up so um, so that is where these doors came from. All right, so I had my little helper come with me, but here's the doors I picked up for free. Um, you can see I've already pulled one door card off. They're in beautiful shape, just a little dirty, but a little, a little clean up and we'll be good to go. But I mean, I think the only blemish I saw was on this driver's side. There's a little crack right there. Other than that, oh, and I guess the chrome trims wanting to pop off right there, but we can bend that back up and I don't know, we'll come up with something. But regardless, not bad for freebies. Truck part storage. Also got, show you the other free stuff he gave me. We've got a, um, that's a Ford fuel tank. I think gonna come in, it's mint, steel, mint. It's in perfect shape. Missing sending unit covers and such, but uh, it's only a little 35 gallon, but I think that'll work great on my Cummins project. Um, it's actually the same size tank. It's a nice shallow depth tank, so it'll fit on a smaller truck like that when I rebuild my 3500 HD with the Cummins in it. And then just a, not when somebody uses a diesel tank, so whatever, we'll take it. Extra heated mirror, I guess. Probably never use it and end up throwing it out, but freeze free. But yeah, we got some good spare parts, some good spare doors, or I could sell them. I got good rubbers for the door pockets, good unrusted, unmolested door pockets. So just a nice, uh... let's see, what do we have? We got a Cummins sticker. It was a Cummins truck, whatever it was, whatever these came off of. Fun stuff. Getting serenaded. cleaned up we'll let them uh cleaned up and rinsed off we'll let them drip dry a little bit longer before we go to pop them on the truck that's a that's a pretty easy process there so take you long when we when we pop those in all right so here's what we're starting with so we got to pull man i can't remember what those fasteners are they're three eighths but anyway we got to pull Grab handles off. And I've kept. 
ripped a few of the fasteners from the other doors they might be in slightly better shape I cleaned these ones up they were pretty rusty so we might set them to the side so there's that and then I also I got the uh, the other door hardware but I already cleaned these up so they're in pretty decent shape I don't know why that's not working out all the way off. A little sticky. Probably gummed up with paint. Pain in my butt. Too big. Too bad. Paint. All right, let's get a door cart. all of our fasteners we still got
those fasteners are slightly worn out, but we'll uh, deal with that another day. Should have used a quarter drive socket, huh? It appears we had those backwards, guys. Why this one's worn out. They give you four holes on the door panel itself, so they are reversible per se if you don't have the door card on. Try that method. There we go. That's two out of three. There we go. Then, last but not least, now got the fancy plastic washers on this set. The handle was facing. I like to have it face. Kind of lifting up to close the window. Nothing too tight on those. There we go. And then, same thing. now. So we'll leave it on for now. Test it. She works. There we go. Matching door cards. I love it. 
Let's repeat on the other side. All right, guys, well, door cards are installed. Looking sweet. I need to get a few new clips. Some of those clips were just worn out. You know, those little press clips get. Um, but they're just standard little clips, so, and we don't have to remove the whole card. We can just pop those on individually, so. Um, even if we had to remove the whole card, as you saw there, it was pretty straightforward. So, a couple other things I was gonna show you on the L9000. One is the shifter right here. If you might notice, it's a little lower. So, stock height is down here. It's only about a, oh, it's probably less than 18 inches off the, uh, off the floorboard. I put a one foot riser on it, which had it up to about here. And to be honest with you, it was just a little too Billy Big Rig. It was a little too tall. So anyway, it's uh, I ordered a replacement. Instead of a 12 inch riser, it's a six inch. And I know it's probably hard for you guys to see, but it is much more comfortable. Boy, this is fun to do. This is why we own uh, suction cup mounts. We just choose not to use them, apparently. Alright, so let me get my window rolled up so you can hear me. The other thing that I've yet to fix See, my wires came undone again for the pyrometer, so she's stuck, but I'm not going to tear this dash apart again until I have a new boost gauge that goes beyond 20 PSI. So we'll wait. We'll tackle that over the winter with a new boost gauge uh, when we're doing injectors and maybe a turbo, a turb ski. But uh, other than that, the devil's in the details, right, guys? So... It is October 30th, day before Halloween. It's been a beautiful mid-60s weekend. I got a whole bunch of fall cleanup and winterization and lawn work and cutting trees and branches and work on my F450, but I carved out an hour or so here to get these beautiful door cards on and uh, take the OL9000 for a drive. So, God, I gotta splice that in, isn't that just fall and Americana at its best. Here, oh, look at the Pete 377. Yep. God. It is that kind of day. It's supposed to rain a little tomorrow, so farmers are out in force in the wheat fields. I haven't been hitting corn much lately. We're still a little early for corn. Um, they're, they're hammering that wheat hard. And then they'll switch over to the corn heads. But anyway, oh, spoke too soon. Look at that. Down. As always, really appreciate you guys watching. Uh, really appreciate your interest in the truck. And uh, hope you have a great week. Take care.